Okay, this assignment's really easy. Okay, there's two answers, but here's the problem. Do you have any x's that are not to the second? No, I don't. So I don't need to factor. We don't need to set it. We don't need to factor it. You need to get the x to the second power by itself. Well, you undo the minus 25 by adding 25. And you don't, and then x to the second equals 25. Now, what number times itself is 25? 25 is, here it is, 5, 5. So 5 is one of your answers, and the other answer is negative 5, because also a negative 5 times itself is also 25. Okay, my next problem, two answers. Do you have any x's not to the second? No, you don't. This is the only x you have. It's to the second. So I undo the plus or minus first. That takes this down. So I'm getting x squared by itself. So that's 160. Now divide by 4, and you're at 40. So x to the second power is 40. Now what number times itself is 40? Well, it's some decimal because it's not an integer. So what I do is I use a calculator. I go second, x to the second power, and then the square roots up, and then 40. So that's 6.32 or negative 6.32. Those are the two possible outcomes. Okay, next one here, there'd be two answers. And I don't have any x to any other power than a second, so I would I would not want to factor. I'd want to get the x to the second by itself. So I'd minus three. And five x to the second would equal one hundred twenty-five, because I'm I still need to divide by five, and that's twenty-five. And I just had that up here. That could be five or negative five. Okay, two answers here. Do I have any other x's other than to the second power? No, I don't. So I'll get the x to the second by itself. So 6x to the second equals 120 divided by 6. That takes me to 20. Now what number times self is 20? No, it's not 10. 10 times 10 is not 20. I don't know it. So what I do is I find the square root of 20 on a calculator because the opposite of a second power like the opposite of plus is minus the opposite of times is divide the opposite of a second power is square root and those cancel so the square root of 20 so second four keys up 20 4.47 or negative if it's not on that list of diagonals it's going to be a decimal okay Okay, this equation has two answers. Again, do you have any x's that aren't to the second? No, you don't. So you add 3. So negative 2x to the second is equal to negative 36. Then I can divide by negative 2. And that takes you, now I know what x to the second is equal to. Now what number times itself is 18? Well, it's not an integer, so I find I square root. That's me canceling the second and the square root. So I find the square root of 18, second, square root 18, 4.24, and you could also have negative 4.24. Okay, next problem, two answers. Do you have any x's not to the second? No, you don't. So we're going to minus 5. That takes us to 20. Okay. Then divide by 4. And then x to the second power equals 5. Now, what number times itself is 5? Yeah, I don't know that. It's a, in, it's a decimal. It's an irrational number is what it is. Okay. So find the square root of 5. So I go second, 4 keys up. And that's 5. So that would be 2.24. You could also go negative 2.24. Okay, my next problem, two answers. Do you have any x's that are not to the second? Nope, that's the only. So I get the x to the second by itself. So I minus 2. That takes us to 49. And then undo the 7 by dividing. So x to the second equals 7. And 
and then I find the square root of 7, which again, 7 is not a perfect square, so it's going to be a decimal. Second, go four keys up, and that's 2.65. You could also get negative could be the positive or the negative version of the factor because a, no, a negative times itself is a positive. Okay, then the last one, two answers. Okay, now here's this setup a little bit different. Um, plus negative 12, okay? So negative 12 is a multiplying number. So first I have to undo the adding a positive 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 because i got to get x second equals... And that takes you to negative 96 when you subtract it from negative 92. Then I divide by negative 12, and that's 8. So what's the square root of 8? No, it's not 4. 4 times 4 is not 8. 8 is not a perfect square, so we have to use our calculator. So we go second, 4 keys up, 8, and that would be 2.83. And our other option is to go negative.